So now we're going to talk about personal protective equipment. Uh, gloves, you'll see I'm wearing gloves most of the time just to protect my hands. And you'll see also that I will have my eye protection on top of my hat. And uh, you'll also see that I'm wearing steelies. This time of year they're the trainers. Other than that you'll obviously see me wearing boots. Um, some of you, uh, as I do as well, find that you have to be on site sometimes where you have to wear your um, high vis and with that you'll have a hard hat. So um, I just want to show when I wear a hard hat, my safety, eye safety always goes just there. Okay, so I'm not on a job where I have to use these, so that says. So the other thing I want to talk about is um, air protection. Now, I'm particularly um, um, fanatical about this because I'm deaf in this air. Uh, that happened when I was 11 years old, not through an accident, through an illness. Uh, but because of that, I want to make sure that this one is always going to be working. And the thing you have to remember is, if you're working somewhere and the noise level is too much and repetitive, and you start to get some damage to your ear, your ear will never repair itself. So it will always be progressively worse. So, so important to look after your ears, um, especially like so when you're younger and uh, you have the knowledge that you must look after your ears. Uh, the rule is, if uh, you've got someone who's uh, a meter away from you and you have to raise your voice for them to hear what you're saying, then whatever that noise is that's making you raise your voice is too loud and you should be wearing ear protection. Uh, whether it be these or whether it be the, the little plugs that you can get. So again, you'll see me wearing these, uh, obviously whenever I'm doing anything noisy. And a lot of the time, uh, they sort of like sit on my um, head. Sometimes in the winter time, I just keep my ears warm. Um, just back to the goggles. These ones, obviously I have um, with these ones, like this time of um, year, because it's really lovely and sunny here, even though it's England. And um, these ones are... <laughs> What I normally wear, because obviously uh, we do get a lot of cloud here, so it's not always the sun. So the next thing is um, I want to talk about is looking after your lungs. Now this one, I, again, same with the ears, I'm really quite passionate about this because um, some sites will insist you wear a hard hat, they'll insist that you wear a high vis, and they'll insist that you wear boots. Some will even say. Um, to the extreme of saying you must wear gloves and you must wear eye protection okay which is again it's all good it's all looking uh, after yourself but no one really seems to pay too much attention about the last two things I mentioned about the air protection and looking after your lungs and um, so I am particularly uh, fanatical about both of those now you have to understand that when you get a mask uh, Certain masks are only good for certain jobs. Obviously, generally, the cheaper they are, then the least protection you're going to get out of them. Uh, like this one, for example. You'll see inside there, if the camera will just go on, maybe it's a bit too bright, but ah, you can see that there's dust in there where you're breathing. So you can see that that one is telling you that dust is getting in. Very similar to that. We have another one, you can see just where the nostrils are, where the dust is. So again, you can see that this mask isn't really doing a great deal of good for you. Now this one looks very dirty. And I have to say, I was wearing this one for quite some time. Now, if you just go back to the other ones, you can see this one doesn't have any support in it. This one did. Here, that is sort of like a metal um, band on there that you push over your your nose to try and keep it tight. This one has got something very similar, just there. Okay, so that does that. But you can see the dust inside. But where you look, where I was breathing, all inside there. It's absolutely clean. Um, there's a bit of dust gone through the seam there, but that's because it's been in my bucket there now. So um, uh, that wasn't in there, obviously, when I was using it. But you can just see 
how dirty it was on the outside, how dirty it started to come in, but how clean it is around where I was breathing. So again, that for me, for like a dust mask, was brilliant. So good in fact that um, I started using another one. Uh, obviously didn't use that one anymore. Um, and the other thing about these is, as we just uh, mentioned, that some dust, dust masks uh, are only good for like sweeping up, others are okay for when you're cutting bricks and that. But if you're using a petrol saw and you're cutting bricks and you can smell and taste the petrol as you're cutting, then that mask isn't doing you much good. It might stop some of the dust, but you're still getting the fumes, which again are going to be harmful to you. So because of all that and the amount of bricks that I do cut, I did spend a little bit more and I got one of these because obviously when you're cutting bricks with one of these you have to be wearing these as well and I, all of you who um, use these both together you're going to agree with me I would say that your glasses always steam up and when they steam up uh, it becomes very difficult to see what you're doing so you're either going to take your mask off so you don't get the steam or you're going to lift your goggles up to your head so again um, not what you should be doing. So I found that this is brilliant. It cost me about 50 quid and um, no dust inside and when you're using it uh, you can breathe nice and freely and none of your vision gets steamed up as well. So I found that this has been really really good so I, I do tend to use this one uh, more than anything now. I do keep a good supply of gloves because uh, I do always have this bag with all my bits and pieces in it. I never want to be on a site when suddenly um, I'm going to cut something and just realise that oh, I haven't got my mask with me, haven't got my goggles with me. So um, I'll always make sure I keep this. And then again, I'll always keep a little uh, first aid kit in there as well. Not a bad, not a bad band. So uh, in the sun, I, I will always say again that you'll be needing this and a bottle of water around you with you all the time. Now, because I'm so um, fanatical, as I said, about the dust, when I was teaching, I used to show my students uh, a little video of me when I was at work, and um, also when I was teaching. So you'll see two videos, but unfortunately, I can't get the video onto my new laptop, so I'm gonna have to film it off my old laptop. So the quality might not be that good, but if you just watch this uh, next little film, you just hopefully emphasize um, how dangerous dust is and how hidden that is. So, because sometimes you'll be working somewhere and you think you're in a dust free zone, but you're not. And uh, there's two types of dust which we'll talk about shortly after um, you've seen this video.
So did you see there that the dust was only visible when the light came through? And until that happened, you're totally unaware that there's dust around. Uh, so you have to be so careful. I mean, you may be doing something, uh, well, even in that video, I wasn't making dust myself. I was just preparing um, some hardcore to, uh, for, for, uh, before I was going to concrete. And uh, it was the wind uh, just whistling through uh, an opening uh, in one of the windows there that just was kicking up all that dust in there. So I wasn't even doing it. And like I said, it was only the sunlight that made me aware that there was a hazard there. So again, you may have people where you're working on site, they could be making dust. And uh, you've got to be aware all the time that even if I can't see it, it's going to be there. Now there are two types of dust. You've got hallable dust, which is dust that you will breathe in, and these things will catch the majority of it. But you've then got respiratory dust, which is so fine it will get past these. Um, I mean, even the bigger stuff is getting in there, but you're getting stuff that you can't see that will get through. Um, all the filters and everything and get into you. Um, this is where these ones are much, much, much better. So the, the dust that does get in, uh, like I so said, the respiratory dust, it gets into your uh, internal organs, that is the stuff um, where you're going to get problems later on in life. Nothing's going to affect you straight away. Uh, the reason all of this um, started was when I was like 17 and I started my apprenticeship, I was uh, working with people who are like my age now and uh, they'd get to the top of a ladder and they'd be out of breath. Uh, they'd walk across the site to go to the toilet. When they come back, they'd be out of breath and stuff like that. And again, I was 17, I was playing football every day and I thought to myself that you know, there's something uh, wrong here. I'm not gonna be like that when I get to that age. And I like to say, uh, at the moment, I'm still okay because from the age of 17, I was like wearing a mask, I was wearing air defenders, or every opportunity that I felt I needed to do it. Um, a lot of the time we get peer pressure. Um, for example, I used to wear a mask mixing up on, uh, on the mixer. So um, the, the cement dust, and especially the lime dust, which really does burn, um, I would just protect myself from it. Uh, but the kind of ridicule that you get uh, from the older ones when you're doing that, uh, you just let, let them do it. Just let them walk up that ladder and uh, be out of breath. You, if, like I said, if you get into uh, like your, your 40s now and you still want to kick the ball about and stuff and not worry about it, then you look after your lungs. So anyway, I hope um, everything that you've um, looked at has uh, made a little bit of an impression. So when you go out on site, you'll be thinking more these all the time, these when you need them, uh, these like I said, I wear nearly all the time, these only maybe good for sweeping up, possibly. When you're cutting bricks, you don't want to be uh, breathing any dust in. So this is what you want to be looking at, having something like this. Okay, I hope that helped.